Consider everything that is around you. This room, the buildings, the city, the state, country, planet Earth, the Milky Way and outer space. That's a lot of matter, isn't it? Well, sort of. Visible matter, what you and I can see, is referred as ordinary matter. Ordinary matter only makes up for 4% of the universe. So where does the other 96% lie? It exists between galaxies and passes through them without interacting with ordinary matter. This is called dark matter and dark energy, both of which are undetectable, invisible, and have not yet been captured by scientists. Welcome to the world of particle astronomical physics. Dark matter makes up for 23% of the universe and exists around galaxies. Without it, the universe would be extremely cold and separated. It can be defined as the gravitational glue that holds together galaxies and plays a vital role in the history and the fate of the universe. However, there is more unknown about this phenomenon than known, since the substance has not yet been directly observed. Here's what we do know. It's a porous substance, does not move rapidly, we can't see it and it does not interact with ordinary particles except gravity. In simpler terms, imagine the orbiting light above me was due to gravity. Now I am invisible. Yet you know there's a gravitational force counteracting the light to fly off in a straight line. That invisible force is also known as dark matter. We can see its effects and without it, our galaxies would not be formed the way they are today. This analogy applies to how scientists know dark matter exists. Finding dark matter was first contemplated when astronomical physicists attempted to determine the mass of a galaxy. Since you cannot just place a galaxy on the scales, scientists follow two procedures. Firstly, working backwards by using the speed of rotation due to gravity, then applying the gravitational constant to calculate the mass. Or, analysing the redshift using the Doppler effect in Hubble's law through advanced telescopes. Redshift is a displacement of spectral waves which are spread due to Einstein's cosmological constant in general relativity. Hence, the spreading alternates the wavelengths which causes it towards the red fringe of the spectrum. In the 1960s, two American astronomers, Burr Rubin and Kent Ford, created a team who studied various spiral galaxies. It was observed that outer stars were travelling as fast as internal stars. Furthermore, all galaxies observed were rotating 10 times faster than anticipated. This observation supported the theory as it meant there must be an unknown external force. By 1978, the team obtained enough evidence to declare dark matter does exist. The only problem was, it was invisible and somewhat undetectable. Dark matter does not emit or deflect light, nor interact with the electromagnetic force. In fact, it is most likely passing through you, me, and planet Earth right now, just like a ghost moving through a house never colliding with ordinary matter. Any matter will obstruct light, and through the application of gravitational lensing, astronomers have contoured three-dimensional maps where dark matter lives. Gravitational lensing is a visual study of clusters of galaxies through powerful telescopes. One could postulate that to find dark matter, scientists must look into the dark night sky. Alternately, scientists are also working in mines that have been transformed into science laboratories such as the Sedan National Laboratory, which is 243 feet underground and over 300 kilometres away from any major city. The depth of this search is to shield cosmic rays from interrupting experiments. This is done in hope to capture a wind particle through the process of thermal ionising signature and detecting neutrinos. These experiments have been going on for approximately a decade and are yet to find a particle. WIMP is the abbreviation for Weakly Interacting Massive Particle and its characteristics reflect the name literally. Scientists hypothesise it is one of two candidates that make up dark matter. The other proposition which scientists believe to make up dark matter is the Marcho particle. Marcho is the abbreviation of Massive Astrophysical Compact Halo Object and is a body of composite subatomic particles made up of three quarks, also referred as Byronic matter. Both WIMP and Marcho particles expose themselves by bending light rays through gravitational paths. Our present understanding is that all galaxies are the core of dark matter. Without the constraining force due to dark matter's gravity, star systems such as the Milky Way would project themselves in separate directions as they rotate. Dark energy resides where ordinary matter and dark matter does not. Without dark energy, there is not enough matter to account for the curvature of space, leaving gravity the dominant force. Dark energy accounts for 73% of the universe. Scientists strongly assume the universe began from the Big Bang. Since then, the expansion of the universe has been accelerating. The expansion is a result of dark energy which is associated within vacuums throughout space. In simple terms, dark energy is described as unknown atoms appearing. After some period of time, two atoms merge, then both disappear. 
Within this process, the space of dark energy expands at an exponential rate. In 1917, Albert Einstein suggested that the universe was static. However, he had to fix his theory of general relativity by applying the cosmological constant to agree with this statement. Yet, the quandary arose from what we knew about gravity. The expansion should be slowing down as gravity is an attractive force. A decade later, when studying the redshift of outer galaxies, Hubble showed that the expansion is accelerating. Shortly after that discovery, Einstein announced that he deeply regretted his modification of the general relativity equation. It was called his greatest mistake. The guy could have been famous. <laughs> In 1998, two teams of astronomers involved in the analysis of exploding stars, referred as supernova explosions, both recorded that a supernova was fainter than expected. This suggested that nearer galaxies are moving away from Earth faster than distant galaxies. Thus, the universe's growth is accelerating. Both team leaders were awarded a Nobel Prize shortly after this discovery. Since then, this graph has been modulated to display scientists' belief that gravity was once dominant. In the last 5 billion years, dark energy has separated enough from dark matter, causing the universe's expansion to accelerate. The reasoning behind this change in dominancy is currently unknown. There may be a new force, which would add to the existing four fundamental laws of physics. Scientists foremostly believe this is a dynamic field, a force that changes with time. Currently, scientists from around the world are in competition to find out what exactly dark energy is. They are collecting data from near and far regions of space to eliminate possible concepts. An example of a current research facility is the Sloan Telescope in New Mexico, which pictured over 2.4 million galaxies last year. It can be concluded that dark energy plays an essential role in our universe. Without this repulsive force, gravity would contract all matter, causing the universe to collapse in on itself. Although it has only been in the last 20 years that cosmologists have become aware of dark energy. The universe has been evolving since the start of time, which suggests that it has forever been expanding. There are many calculations and studies to support the ideas of dark matter and dark energy. Until the early 1900s, the idea of dark matter and dark energy was not even heard of, although physicists soon discovered that they only knew 4% of the entire universe. It still seems bizarre that 96% of the universe is made up of a completely unknown form of matter and energy. Capturing a dark matter particle or solving the theory of dark energy is not a simple task, as both are invisible and by no means easy to detect. Once dark matter and dark energy are found, it will be the greatest advancement to define the workings of the universe and will answer some of the deepest unknowns to physics.